want a cricket. Oh, one of them went for it. Oh, oh, oh you saw that? <laughs> this is gonna be Greg's first time trying out a fly rod. <laughs> oh, I just had a pop. You just popped on it. They're in those rocks over there. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, there we go. oh you got him? It's a nice one. I don't know if that's a quad. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish, Greg. Your first fly fish. Here, bring him up yeah. close and I'll land him for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> here you go, here you go. Here you go. Where's the line? Is it? Yeah, I can double put it. Oh. Yeah, that's a, Dude, that's a large a, mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's a largey. Hell yeah. That hook set there too. That's <laughs> a solid bass. <laughs> that is, that's a two and a half pounder, easy. On the fly. Oh man. That's a solid bass. <laughs> Gotta get it right this. Get a fly. Okay, get you a picture. Yeah. I like what do you think that is? About 16? That's gotta be. I didn't bring my tape. Come on. Can you get back a little? Uh, no, don't move. I mean, You'll fall. You'll trip and fall. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I didn't bring a scale to, either. You would take the shot. Huh? Yeah, for what? Oh, with the popper? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Can you get me? <laughs> Hell yeah. And you weren't even sure about this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well. Now you're going to go like, invest in your own fly rod now, aren't you? Here. All right. There she goes. She found it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder if that multiple or different bass over here. I think that was different bass because the ones that I saw popping already weren't that big. Couldn't have been that big. Stopped recording after we released yours. Well, I don't like having these giant files. Oh, you got away. I stop recording every couple minutes because I don't like having these giant files. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pull up see if I got the hook set. Yeah. That one I wasn't sure if he actually took it though, because I had a I saw him pop on it, but all the pops I've had they were missing. This one he just he was just barely big enough to get the whole thing in his mouth. Yeah. I got one following it already though. Oh yeah, he took it. But I he missed.
Oh, there we go. Did you take it? Got him. Another little one. Throw him out and try to catch a bass. Damn, he choked it too. Oh, you got one? <laughs> that same spot? He got off. This one ain't getting off. <laughs> Damn, this one choked it. I can't even get it out. Yeah, but I can't get the pliers in there. It just barely fits in his mouth and it's all the way in. Pretty much. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah. There you go. He's gone. A lot of the guads that I've I've caught fly fishing, it's I get them on the backswing when I'm casting, and they take it. So when I cast, I set the hook. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, but he didn't take it. Damn. My distance sucks. Because I'm not, I'm not able to get a full backswing with all the vegetation over here. It's actually a little deeper in this hole than I thought it would be. I guess because the water level is so high up. There we go. You got it. Can't even bring him in. Oh, he just darted off with it. Yeah, they might be a. Well, actually, when his stuff is heavier, like that cricket I was throwing earlier, that was too heavy. Fly rods are, they just, they cast totally differently than anything else. You don't want any weight on the end of the line. I'd kind of like to go stand up there and cast. I think we could get there if you want to do it. If you wanted to try it. Is it easier to get up on that side? At going up, yeah, it's it's on easier side. on that. Well, you have to climb up that <laughs> the skinny part there. Which I do it because it's like it's just there's like a deep uh, hole on that side of it. But once you get up past that deep hole, you can climb up easier. Oh, did he take it? Did he take it? Did he take it? Got him. I'm reeling this one in. I don't usually reel them in because the reels are a little pointless, but <laughs> this reel is pointless anyway. Your first time fly fishing and you already beat my PB fly. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd caught a bunch on flies before that. My personal best tilapia for any size is on a fly. For any type of bait. Nice. Want to try to get there? Yeah. I can do it. It's going to be a little tricky to walk it though. They're not really topwater fish. You gotta kinda, you gotta have a sinking, like that shrimp I had, or something similar. Yeah, something real reflective. Oh. Oh, I lost him. You got one? <laughs> Little bass. We almost doubled up there. 
It's tiny. Yeah, I think that's a quad or a large, large too. Yeah. You to take him off there? Yeah. He's hooked on the bottom of the lip. There you go. You wanna Yeah, I saw something uh That's a little large mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Bye. Well <laughs> no, I saw something hovering there like. Yeah. Uh, that's what's cool about fly fishing is you can catch them even if they're too small for other baits, you know? Huh? Yeah. What about right here? bottom. Well, that's at least four feet then. Well, I guess those cheap Chinese flies actually work. Yeah. Had results on it. <laughs> How often do you catch a bass like that fly fishing? Or do you well, see any other people doing it? Apparently for me all the time. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time. It's a 100% a yeah. big bass catch rate. Yeah. Took me a while to get into my first one there, but you had one right away almost. Yeah, I got off. I wasn't really sure of the whole hook to hook stuff, you know? See, that's what's fun about fly fishing is even when you lose a fish, it's still fun. Yeah. That first one probably was a bass, too. Yeah, it definitely was. But it, Probably close to the same size. I think it was probably a pretty good size guad because it was yeah. right in that current. Could have been a small guad because those things fight so damn hard. Yeah, and put itself right there, right? Mm-hmm.